So let's go ahead and get started. We are excited today um, to welcome all of you to the MSEC National Training Seminar and the student segment of the training seminar. Um, and we're so excited today that we have Ramstein High School with us to share all of their knowledge. They have done some wonderful things with their program, their S2S program. They have two websites that they've set up that I have been reviewing the last couple of days, and I am so impressed with the work that they've done. Um, they've got one that's just for their S2S program that explains everything about S2S, you know, membership and events coming up and activities. And then the coolest thing I saw on there was the email buddies. So they have a whole list of people in S2S with their contact information. And then it lists what their activities are throughout the school so that new students can kind of look at that list and say, if you're a football player, you see somebody that's a football player, you can send them an email and connect. So I think that is so awesome for new students to have somebody to connect with. And then the other thing that they've done, the other website is their Welcome to Germany website, which was a product of the Francis Hesselbein um, program, which I hope they're gonna explain to you. I'm not gonna take all their time. Um, and that is their Welcome to Germany site. And that is all about finding your way, which is one of our biggest components of the S2S program. So without further ado, I wanna introduce you to Lisa Edgett. She is their school counselor and she is their sponsor for S2S. She's been in Ramstein for six years. Prior to that, she's been all over the world. She's been in Sasebo, Osan, Korea, Naples, Japan all working for DOD. And prior to that, she was in Washington State and that's where she eventually will retire. But I'm gonna turn it over to Lisa. She's gonna run the program and introduce her students to you. And feel free to use the chat box if you have any questions. We'll be monitoring that throughout the presentation. And I know they'll be happy to answer any questions that you have about their program. So it's your, you're on the floor, Lisa. Okay, thank you, Jennifer, and welcome to everyone who was able to attend our little meeting today. The kids have practiced and are very excited about sharing this information with you. Uh, I think S2S is such a vital, important program for any school, and we have a huge one here at Ramstein that we're very proud of. And uh, these people here today are part of our the Francis Hesselbein Leadership Program winners, the, the team that won first place for creating this website they're about to share with you. And I wanna introduce, we have Camry Schaefer. She is a senior at Ramstein this coming year. She is um, in second year of being an S2S officer. Her, she's attended Ramstein for three years and hopefully will graduate from Ramstein. Her dad is in the Air Force and she's a twin too, identical twin. And uh, she has attended six different schools. Uh, so that's pretty amazing that how, how they adapt. Next we have Emma DeFara. And Emma is a going to be a junior this year, and she has attended Ramstein for two years and been an S2 member, S2S member for two years. And her dad is also in the Air Force, and she has attended seven schools in this short period of time. And again, hoping she graduates from Ramstein. And last but not least, we have Kalia Momartz. And Kalia is going to be a junior this year. And she has also been in the S2S program and is an S2S officer. And her dad is in the Air Force. And she has attended eight different schools. And we're hoping that she will graduate from here too. I will keep her. Uh, and we had one other member, Eliza Asher, who will be a senior this year. She was unable to attend today, but you've got a great team here that is going to share all their hard work and hopefully teach you how you can do something similar for your school. So take it away, Kalia. Hello, I'm Kalia. And our project was to create a website or brochure for new students coming to Germany. And we just want to provide information about Germany and living in Germany to give them opportunities 
and really show them what's available for them here. And we decided to pick this project because we know what it's like to be new and confused about a brand new environment. And it could be really scary sometimes. So we really hope this helps them. Our, our project was important because it not only helps the new students here at Ramstein, but as well as their families. It benefits them as well because it creates a new home for them and it gets them familiar with the base and the country since it is a bit of a culture shock no matter what country that you come from coming into Germany. And it creates a new sense of community for them looking at the website, seeing that there's other people here for them and know that what they're going through as they come to Germany. And it also really helps a new student as they can feel a bit more part of Ramsam High School as well as the S2S club that we here that we have here at Ramsam. Okay, and before we started our project, we attended the Francis Hasselwein Student Leadership Program, which held uh, leadership conventions and seminars. And one of the the lessons that they taught us was how to actually plan out our project and like the timeline. And so they kind of gave us this blueprint. So we decided to put it on a Google calendar that we all shared. And it had steps, regular steps like briefings and adjustments and pillars. The pillars were like once a month and it would have a list of things we wanted to have done by that date. And while we didn't always attend every meeting that we planned to and we we still um we still use this this like this plan to make sure we stayed on track and if we saw that we were falling behind we'd pick it up and keep each other on track all right so our first step of the action plan was to create surveys so we can add them to our website and to distribute them on our S2S classroom, on Google Classroom, to the members that we have in our S2S program. Our next step in our action plan was to involve the middle school here at Ramstein. We let them know of our project and got feedback on it and let them give thoughts on our project as well. And basically just incorporated them into our project as a whole. Um, so we sent out these middle school surveys and we interacted with them bi-weekly. We told them about the values of S2S and we had games with them to get to know them. And it was really fun for us to um, get to spend that time with them. Um, and then we were able to read the answers they gave to us from those surveys and harvest that information and use it on our website. So after we had the information from the surveys, we decided to um, we divided parts of the website up, and we gave them to uh, we divided parts of the website and used information from the surveys in our own research because we didn't get enough uh, communication from the surveys. <laughs> okay, and then we distributed the site to um, staff, new students, school liaison officers, and district officials. And this is actually our website. This is to sharing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But it's not sharing the website. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. This is our website. So this is the welcome page and we have kind of like our mission statement written right there. And um, these tabs up here are actually our surveys that we sent out and students answered them and told us their favorite places to go on base or locally. So this is the base one. And when there was a site available, we would put it there so they would have it, easy access to it on this site. And there's also local travel, the students' favorite places. And you can see here, we actually have quotes from our students telling us about the places and why they loved it so much, just so that it's more personal. And um, yeah. <laughs> and then we have our local activities like hiking and taking the train. 
And under this tab, we have their culture, just, which is just locations that they can go to learn more about the country that they're actually living in and more input from students and specific hiking locations. Also complete with um, websites with their addresses so you know, actually know how to get to the hiking places. And then we have local sports, which is pretty cool. All the different um, pages for different sports. Like for example, we have swim and it gives the swim team here on base and the website for the aquatic center. And we recently received new information about a community swim team. So a swim team that the Germans offer and allow Americans to swim on. So we can add that to the website. Um, because we will continue updating it. And then we also have a little storage of shop with VAT form information, which the VAT form is, um, it takes off the German taxes because we are not German citizens. So if you're making a big purchase, it's really helpful. But these are just like the, the basic shops that a lot of people use. And then there are also students' favorite restaurants. You know, we don't have McDonald's or anything over here, so it's good to have these options and know what's around you when you first get here, especially when you can't, um, when you don't have a kitchen. You can cook in. <laughs> and then there's foreign travel, which just has most of the European countries, a lot of them. <laughs> and uh, this one has also has input from students, and this is, um, an index and you click on them and it takes you to the country. <laughs> and so for example, this is Croatia. It's very beautiful there. <laughs> and it has input from students and their favorite places and things to do there. And it's just really nice to see what other students at your new school and what um what they love to love to do. And so that is our website. Let me get back to the slides. Sorry. <laughs> so to get all this information on our website, we did, so these are um, we decided to send out surveys, and these are a couple of our sample surveys that we decided to show you guys. Technical. <laughs> so this is one of our surveys that got quite a lot of responses. And we usually start out with a description of what they're signing up for. And we give them a list of questions. And, uh, and some of them are required and some of them aren't given their circumstances. And we always ask for pictures and a lot of our surveys didn't get so, so many responses, but this one did, and we're very grateful for that one. <laughs> so some plans that we have to keep our website up to date include um, forming quarterly committees and um, gathering additional information um, in order to keep our website as up to date as possible in the future and upcoming years so that the website can be preserved for future families and um, future um, new kids at Ramstein in years to come after we're um, done here at Ramstein. We can also include questions at socials and club meetings that we hold at our S2S um, meetings in order to our website. Okay, so throughout this project, we learned a lot of things. One of the most important things we learned is about what is important to our peers in our community, and that includes like our younger peers, such as the middle schoolers, and just what they like, what they enjoy. And we learned more about Germany and Europe because we don't know everything about Germany and Europe. And as we were making this website, we had to put in a lot of extra research to make sure 
we got enough information for these new students. And uh, we really built our teamwork skills. None of us were horrible at it before, but I think we really improved and we worked a lot better as time went on. And uh, to be honest, we really struggled with time management at first because we were all juggling AP classes and clubs, and then we had to add in time for this extra project. But eventually we got it down and we started having regular meetings. So we got better at that. <laughs> And we became really self-disciplined with making sure we got this project done. We didn't want to let Sajid down or our club down or ourselves down. So we, um, we put in the work. And another thing we really struggled with was communication. For some reason, it took us like a couple of weeks to find which app to use. I don't know why, but eventually we did. And we figured out what time was best for everybody. And we got things rolling, but it took longer than it should have. Um, and uh, we also learned that we are capable of completing a huge project, even if it seems intimidating. If we break it up into goals and manageable chunks, and we look back and we realize that it took a lot of time and it was a big accomplishment, and we are thankful to have completed it. And um, we also learn to have endurance. This was a year long project. It took us all year to complete it and um, we got it done. <laughs> Yay. So to complete this project, we had a lot of struggles and strengths. And one of our biggest struggles was motivation because halfway into their project, Germany went into lockdown and we had to transition into a virtual school and then back out of virtual school into physical school. And that also had impacts on our communication. Sometimes only two of us were at a meeting or all four of us were at a meeting. It really varied about what we got. And we also had um, struggled with time management. We had commitments as Cameron had said, and it was, we didn't really prioritize this website until the last, the last uh, struggle. <laughs> and, but on the bright side, our strengths were efficiency. We got this website done and we were very dedicated to it as the last, as the deadline came through. And we also had strong organization skills. We had a calendar and we had each other's socials on multiple apps. So we always had a backup plan and one of them failed. Um, so that's it for our presentation. That's all the information we have for you guys. Um, are there any questions? I'm going to ask you guys a question. Um, did you guys have to spend the time to learn how to actually set up like technology wise the website? Or did you have somebody there that had that experience and could do it for you? Because that's probably what's also intimidating to a lot of people is to actually build the website. Can your echo? I'm so sorry. Do you mind repeating that question for us? Okay. Did you did one of you have the experience to know how to actually physically build the website, or does was that also part of your process of learning the whole thing? Well, part of the process. Oh, sorry. <laughs> part of the process was learning the whole thing, but um, we used Google Sites and um it was pretty user friendly <laughs> so uh, we are not like um computer scientists or anything <laughs> um it was just google science that's a good hint and can um, i add to that google go sites is very uh like camry said very user friendly and it's all that beautiful website that they did was a lot of cut and paste on the right, there's buttons for adding images, adding words, adding uh, background, and, and kids are very computer savvy, and uh, the amount, it just is time. And then you just publish it when you're done, and then you have editors, so they were the four editors, including myself, and then people can add to uh, change at any time. And so uh, it's something that is very intimidating when you first look at it. Because I saw one from 
Kaiser Slaughter in high school. And I was like, wow, that looks hard. And then when I went in and started, uh, so, so like the kids have said, just get in there, go to Google sites and try it. And if right. you know, it's a trial and error. And, um, and I think Camry was going to show you our S2S website too. Uh, so we have two now for the program. So I think that that would really help too. So yeah, you can show that. I did see one question in the box. What advice would you give for a school looking to do something like this for themselves and their S2S students? Well, um, I guess do something similar like we did with, um, so I guess to clarify, would you, are you talking about like a basic S2S website or the area one? Because you could do it in the States too, like the, our Germany brochure with um, things to do in the area. Like let's say it's, I'm, I'm from Texas, sorry. <laughs> so let's say it's San Antonio, Texas. You can have uh, people putting their favorite like Mexican restaurants where they think it's really good to eat. Because that is a big military area and somebody could be moving from like somewhere up north where they don't have all these different restaurants down here. And um, I don't know, you can do it anywhere. But if you're talking about the S2S website, I can show that one real quick. Have it. Yeah, I think they would like to see that. Uh, we didn't actually make this one. Somebody else did. <laughs> but you have to do the maintenance to keep it up, right? It made it. Um, actually, our our publicist ma maintains this website. Um, she's not here. She's um, a different officer. But yeah, somebody does have to maintain this website. Or is there a name? So yeah, as I you love this one. This is the one that has the email buddies on it. Yes. Yeah. And on the side, it's got insert pages, themes. You just that little plus sign. Okay. You add pages um so you scroll down and show them okay. <laughs> uh you can get pictures off of like the mcec website and copy i see and i see our core values right there <laughs> yes very important and then right. we've got to get some more pictures from this year we had a lot of pictures from computer meetings that we had but <laughs> but right. uh, these are our officers from last year and some that are still here um, and then show them the, the other pages. Okay. Um, Memberships. This is how to become a member and the S2S values. I think graduate. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's such no, a it's great really website. Nice. Both of those websites are so great for new students to have that to look at, to help them get um, acclimated and settled into school and know that you're there to help them when they come into the school. Um, one thing that I would like you guys to take a second to talk about um, since we have time is you mentioned Frances Hesselbein, but you didn't talk about the process of what it is to get selected for Francis Hesselbein, which is, like you said, a leadership program. Prior to COVID, Francis Hesselbein was had, held twice a year, once at the military, United States Military Academy, which is the Army Military Academy, and once a year at the Air Force Academy. And it's a very intensive full week of leadership. But maybe um, you guys can share what what the process was like to be selected for that, because it's very selective. Um, so we first had, to, uh, so um, the officers first sent out an email of asking who is interested in the club. And obviously we, us, we responded to that and we got back. Um, so we filled out a Google form, uh, which had a bunch of questions that were like about S2S and like what we think about it and some ideas that we had. And that was like a three week process of waiting until we got our results back and they sent out an email. And this year they had the group, which usually they only send one person over to New York, but we four were selected. And it was, I think there was a lot of people apply for this and mm -hmm. I'm just really grateful that we got selected because it's yeah, really good. It's a great program. 
So congratulations to you all. Um, anything else you'd like to share? Um, yes, yeah, so uh, the selection process was um, as Kalia described. <laughs> and then we went through the training seminars um, through the Francis House of Lyme program. And basically, they were um, three um, meetings throughout a certain set of weeks. And they were um, very long meetings where we went through how to be better leaders, how to build better characteristics for ourselves, um, what we can do to be team leaders, um, team members, and um, how to really like push ourselves to be better students as well. And it was a very useful training seminar um, to go through. And I think that it really helped us um, when it came to um, the core values of our project and like being better leaders for our community and our school and incorporating as many people as we can into um, our S2S club here at Einstein. Awesome, yeah. It definitely was a little different this year, but I think it was still as impactful. And I think um, some great lessons are always learned out of um, Francis Hesselbein for sure. So um, I don't think, let's see, someone came to the door. I might have missed this information. Can students access, can students access your website from your school's website? Yes. 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 Yes, it's we have it on our school website. We have a, it on our we have a virtual learning website. There's links on all of those. And our school liaison officers also pass it out and our registrar uh, when new students register through the door system, uh, she sends it out to them too. So awesome. uh, we What's important with S2S is we have multiple ways of getting information out. So we have the websites, the S2S members have created a Instagram page. There's Facebook, but they tell me only old people look at that, but I can't get it. I like it, okay, give me a break. But I and do then, use Instagram too, so I'm gonna look for you guys so I can follow you. Yes, and then uh, and then these websites also, and we try to get information out through the base and through our Dodia headquarters. And um, when we were virtual, we made sure that we contacted, uh, you know, Deborah Longley and Destiny Little, and you know, invited people to our meetings. We just try to always network with people because. Uh, people can have incredible programs and do incredible things, but if people don't know about it, they don't get to enjoy that or participate. And that's one thing Ramstein S2S is so good about is um, announcements, meetings, showy big things. Let's have some fun. And I know well, there's a lot of really great S2S programs around the world that are doing the same thing. And we're excited about getting back and we have a fancy new big school building we're going into next year oh, and awesome. hopefully we'll all be in person and be uh, able to have our socials and all of our fundraisers and fun events and just all around good times right fingers right right crossed. fingers <laughs> crossed right i know <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you guys Germany's have done a great job i mean Great information. Um, this will be recorded for other people to see later. So um, I think we'll, people will get to see it and it'll help them you know, know how they can start this at their school. But I'm super impressed with the, with the websites. You guys have done a great job. Well, um, and I, I'll speak for, for our program, but uh, I'd like to challenge some other S2S programs around the world to Hey, let's see what you got. Let's do some comparisons here. Maybe if we have a whole list of S2S websites, that will really help with that communication for all new kids. So Absolutely. And if you had them. more, each of you could share them on your website so that if somebody from Ramstein was going somewhere else, they could find it and you could cross, you know, so that everybody yeah. can share that information. That would be wonderful to have a network of those websites. So. 
you guys started the ball rolling and hopefully we'll get some more on to that. So um, anything else before we close? We're tired. <laughs> I bet you are. It's late for you guys. Well, we appreciate you. We appreciate you doing a late late night event on your schedule for us. Um, I have two little administrative things for web for uh, MSEC. Um, we want to remind everybody that MSEC has partnered with USAA to create a student tool called SchoolQuest. SchoolQuest offers resources and information to students and families that help students keep track of their school documents create checklists for a new school year, help with your moving, and prepare for college applications. If you have not had the opportunity to sign up, please take a minute and create your free account. And what I'll tell you is anybody that creates their account during these three days of the, the seminar, your name goes in the hat. And I think they might be doing one for each day, but at least doing one for the whole three days um, that... Um, and it may be one per event. I should have clarified that. But anyway, sign up for your school quest account and you may get a $40 gift card to Amazon. They're drawing names for $40 gift cards to Amazon. Um, also, um, and it's schoolquest.militarychild.org. Kimberly, I think is gonna put that in the chat box for us. Schoolquest.militarychild.org. And then also we wanna thank everybody for joining us. The session was sponsored by USAA, and if you complete the survey at the end of the conference, you'll be entered to win a $25 gift card. So if you win two, you might end up with $65 at the end of this, right? Um, for attending this session and completing the survey. The survey link will be posted, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of the seminar and don't miss the S2S team of the year, which will be at the end of the day tomorrow. And if you don't know already, um, our, um, First, our vice president's wife, Mrs. Pence, is, or Dr. Pence, I should say, is going to be announcing that winner. So that'll be at the end of the day tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. So uh, let's see. And I see Kamari has shared the link to the website in there. And let me go ahead and put the school quest one in the chat box for you, just in case. Uh, I'm not good at talking and typing at the same time. So give me a second. School quest dot military.org. Um, that's not right. It must be schoolquest at military.org. But if you Google schoolquest, you will find it for sure. So we appreciate you guys being with us. You did a great job and hopefully our paths will cross one day. Bye. 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 Thank you. <laughs>